Uh, welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. We're here at the Super Series and we've got five minutes, so we've got Fallon in. Fallon, been a busy time for yourself. Yeah, I've been absolutely hectic. Um, you can hear I've lost my voice. I've been proper run down afterwards, but I'm still going. Take you back to the world. Do you have time to reflect, although you lost against Ricky? It was a game that was there for the taking. Did you felt that? Yeah, no, I felt, you know, the game against Ricky, I felt, you know, I had the game and stuff like that. There was never a point where he outplayed me or anything like that. So, you know, coming back from there, I thought, do you know what, this is the start of the next year now because, you know, I I struggled in, like, last year, 2022. So I thought, go into the world, try and put it right and then go on to the back of this year. And at the moment, it's kind of worked out from the world. From there, straight to Q School. Were there any expectations before you went there? Um, probably just to get to the second stage, to be honest, because I think since they changed it, I always got to the second stage. So I was like determined to get to that second stage. But then uh, just to try and play well, I think was what I wanted to do and just kind of, you know, boost my confidence up a little bit. On that first stage, what was that feeling like when you went through the day and didn't get to the second stage on order of merit, actually won your place outright? That must have been a really good feeling. Yeah, no, it was a great feeling because it was like, if I can do it, you know, outright, it kind of put a lot of confidence back into me going into the second stage because I was like, if I can win one outright here, surely in the second stage, you know, maybe I could win one outright. Obviously, it's harder, but it's something that I could do. So close in the end. Is it a bittersweet feeling? One, that you did play some great stuff, but missing out by just one point and a couple of legs must be a little bit heartbreaking as well. Yeah, of course, it was a bit heartbreaking and stuff like that because I felt like I played well, you know, all week I was playing well and I was getting better as it got on. Um, and I think the last day I actually probably performed probably my best and it weren't good enough. And it was like, oh, that's a bit of a kick in the teeth, really. Um, so, yeah, I was a bit disheartened coming off the back of that. But it was like the fact that I got so close and I've never been so close before, it kind of builds me up for the start of this year again. Going, I can do it. You touched on that. Does that give you the confidence to say that I can play at this level? It's just about consistency. Yeah, hundred percent. It's all about consistency, especially in my game at the moment. I think last year where I just done the women's series and that it weren't good enough. And I'll be brutally honest, it weren't great for my match practice or anything like that. It was good to get there, but in hindsight, I need to play a challenge tour. I need to do like the Moda Soup series. I need to play all these best players that I can. Uh, to improve my game and hopefully this year this is what I'm going to do play more competitive in that way and try and boost my game and get it back to how it was we've seen your game go from rock bottom as you said there to playing some really good stuff you must have put in a lot of hard work between the moment you found out you were going to the worlds to obviously now because the averages are there it's consistently we've seen up around 100 from you as well so how much work have you put in behind the scenes a bit more than what I did. <laughs> um, I can't sit there and say, you know, I've been practicing each day, every day for like hours on end because I've just been knackered, especially from like Q school, going into the challenge draw and stuff like that. When I have had days at home, it's just been like, say on a Monday, I'm like playing my PlayStation all day and just chilling with my little boy. And then obviously get back onto it, like have a couple of darts and stuff like that, have a throw each night and stuff like that. Just it, trying to enjoy it again. With enjoying it. The smile is there. Obviously, last year was, was tough, as, as we know, but you feel in a much better place in yourself now as well. No, oh, yeah, 100%. You can see in the game that I'm playing, yes, I'll have some bad games, but they're never like below, you know, 75 averages or something like that. But it, to me, they're not great. 75 averages, I know I can do better. But yeah, no, the confidence and stuff is gaining there again. And I think, you know, it's enjoying it again, which I am. And I think, you know, like I said, pushing myself this year is only going to make myself better couple of runs to the last 16 in the challenge for as well. We know they're tough days and you come through some good fields and narrowly missing out as well. And we saw a score and error, which potentially cost you the game <laughs> as well and, and things like that. So you must be delighted with the way 2023's started and, and what's the the end goal for 2023? Uh, yeah, so, you know, making the last 16s and stuff like that. If someone had said that at the start of the challenge tour weekend, I would be like, yeah, of course, I'll bite your hand off for that. But yeah, no, so going into 2023, you know, it's doing the women's series, it's doing this Moda series, it's doing challenge tours, it's trying to get, you know, to the Worlds at the end of it, the match play again, try and get to Grand Slam, just try and push myself and do the best that I can. You touched on it there, the match play on the horizon, on the, you know what I mean, that's the next big, big goal for you. What would it mean to defend your title there? No, yeah, no, it'd mean, like, absolutely everything because, obviously, it was one of the first majors that I'd actually won, especially in the, like, women's game. I'd never actually won a proper major either. Um, so if I could do that again, I'd just be, like, absolutely over the moon. 
women's game as well, last one from me. The standard is just rising all the time. You must be delighted as one of the flag bearers for the women's game, how it's developing right now. Yeah, no, I think the women's game is developing great. Uh, I mean, you know, there's a couple of good players coming back through and stuff like that. And, you know, Anna's playing again as well. Like, she could be a danger to all of us as well if she, you know, starts again. Um, but, yeah, it's it's improving every time. And it's just a matter of time before the standard does reach up to when we can play against the men competitively all the time. And then maybe then, you know, we might get more opportunities because at the moment we're breaking into three at the world. So who's to say, you know, in a couple of years it might not be four.